How awesome is this sword? Like, really? They're amazing. What a great band. Heavy, groovy, love them. So naturally, when a friend of mine said, hey, we should cover that for an El Gordo session, episode 16, I'll put a link in the description, I had to jump at it. It's the heaviest song we've done, but uh, I, I love the sword. And there it is. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about how I learned uh, the song or process I went through. I don't know if we really need to talk about the process, but I'm going to show you where I ended up. I'm going to do it with uh, my live rig. You're going to hear what it sounded like. Uh, it's going to be the same setup I use for the cover. It's uh, settings and everything. I'm not touching anything, but I do play along with the song at the end, which is going to be great. I hope you find it useful. I'm just playing the song at 75% speed and then again at 90%. Great practice tool, right? I think. So hopefully you'll find that useful at the end of this. But before we get there, we really got to get through the technical mumbo jumbo. The technical mumbo jumbo is pretty straightforward. Uh, in terms of the gear I used, straight up 1982 Marshall 2203. It's a 100 watt JCF 800. Thing is a monster. It's a beast and it sounds phenomenal. I ended up using a Timmy in front and a full tone OCD Germanium. Only two pedals running into it. That tone is dry, no delay, no modulation. Technical mumbo jumbo on the song is that uh, it's 97 beats per minute, key of F minor, uh, which is also the exact same notes as a flat major. Cool thing about that, the dominant key. C. Uh, why is that cool? Because the sword tunes their guitars to C natural. And uh, that being said, let's move on to the bits and pieces. All right, before we dig into the bits and pieces, just a couple house cleaning items. One of them is that I like to put the tabs up sort of as a resource you can take a look at them. Uh, I realize that even with them, it may be confusing sometimes because I sometimes deviate. I don't follow the tabs note for note. Let's just keep that in mind. You might see me deviate, but you know, I believe you're smart and strong and you can see what I'm doing and see the tab and figure out what works for you. Uh, the other thing is that I am not a very patient person when it comes to online lessons. It's, it's kind of the reason why I did this. All right, and lastly, we will do a section called slow it down. Slow it down is where we're gonna play the song together or not however you want to do it at 75 percent speed and 90 percent speed back to back uh, the reason i do that is because slowing it down one helps me build the muscle memory so i can play it better when we get fast uh, and two i think slowing it down brings out some nuances that you don't really catch when you're listening in real time could be just me i don't know uh i'm i'm, I'm a special guy uh so Maybe not useful to you, but if it is or isn't, feel free to let me know. I'm open to feedback. I want this to work for everyone. The only reason I'm doing this is because I think it might be helpful for other people. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not monetizing anything. I'm just a regular guy. So, you know, I want it to be helpful. And if it's not, let me know. Um, and if it is, let me know. Subscribe. Let's have fun. All right. Enjoy yourself. Here's the bits and pieces. The um, uh, first thing we're going to do is let's just kind of go quickly over the riffs. I, I don't know if you really need me to show you these, but a couple of things I've noticed, right? Your intro riff, we have the... Now, I don't know if you've looked at the tabs, but if you, the songsters out there, uh, it's one of my favorite uh, resources for tablature. Um, that tab has that second part played. That seemed very thin to me. And uh, when I was playing along with the song, it would cut through in a way that just wasn't pleasing to the air. And so again, I go and watch the sword play and they actually bring it up to the E on the B string here. Uh, and it makes it a little fatter and it, it, it kind of blends in a little better. So it's the same notes, you know, it, it, it's D, E, D, uh, B, C, A, G, F sharp, E. Um, you're just doing it up here. Thank you. 
And then the next part, right? We're just simple E minor progression. Uh, we're going to start on the E. Then it goes it goes up to the G. A. B. G. F sharp. G. Main riff, super easy. Uh, it's basically uh, the one is the E on. The, it's always going to be that that E chord, and uh, right one two three four one two three four one. First one. Now I know what you're thinking. The tab has you doing something like. Watch the sword play it. It's not what they're doing. Uh, this is what I saw. It's a little harder, but again, start slow, work your way up, you'll nail it. Uh, back to the riff. Right here, your one. It's just that open E. Right? A, B, F, D. Uh, e, A, B, F, D. Then back to one. Hovering from E to D to E. D to E to D. And then the fun one, right? Thing with that one though, next time you do it, they change it up a bit. Instead of going D, E, F, they uh, back to the D, they'll go D, E, F, G. So. Simple. go back through that again that whole progression and at the last uh, part of that progression where we go back to bring it to the G then D to E uh, here's the thing with that again um, in the tab they got you you hear that but when you do it up here, it's heavier, it's fatter, it's fuller. Uh, that lines up with what I'm hearing in the recording better than... Not that it's wrong, it's different. Uh, but for my ears, this one worked better. So the whole chorus is super simple. Second riff's a little uh, different. You're harmonizing differently. We're starting on the G, right here on the B string. That second riff is the exact same as the intro.
Um, and then you're back into the to the main riff. After the second verse, we climb up right before the bridge, and you're taking that last turn around and changing it to uh, kind of that climb up before you head into the bridge. We're going D, E, F, G, A, F, and then we're going to drop on the A. the gist of most of the parts um, here on the A um, wasn't really chugging it right because I'm thinking too hard uh, that's right in, in line with uh, your sort of E minor modes um, well on that note uh, tell me what you think leave some comments give me a like subscribe if you'd like uh, I hope to do more of these really interested in your thoughts on whether these are uh, or this method is helpful um, if it adds any value or if it's completely redundant and a waste of time, uh, that's helpful feedback too. Uh, hopefully the angles are good and you'll be able to see fingering and, um, fretting 